case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1978, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of First National Bank versus Bilotti, in which the plaintiffs challenged a Massachusetts law that prohibited corporations from spending money to influence the vote on referendum proposals unless it materially affects their property, business, or assets. The Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court initially upheld this law, but the U.S. Supreme Court later overturned it on the grounds that it violated the First Amendment's protection of free speech. According to Justice Powell, corporations have a right to engage in political speech, and the Massachusetts law restricted their ability to do so without a compelling state interest. The court rejected the argument that this law was necessary to protect the democratic process and government integrity. Notably, violating the statute could lead to a maximum fine of $50,000 for corporations and up to one year in prison for corporate officers, directors, or agents. Ultimately, the court decided that the Massachusetts law was unconstitutional as it failed to demonstrate a compelling interest, narrow its approach, or provide sufficient evidence. Consequently, the challenged portion of the law was invalidated, reaffirming that corporations have a right to political speech under the First Amendment. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.